Remember our sparkler analogy from lesson three. There are two parts. The sparkler represents the radioactive stuff and the sparks represent the radiation itself. If radioactive stuff ends up in or on something where it shouldn't be, we say that thing has been contaminated. If radiation hits something, we say that thing has been irradiated. Radioactive stuff and radiation are completely different. Radioactive stuff has a form, like a dust or liquid, or more rarely a gas. Because it's stuff, it sticks around. So it can move long distances over hours, days or months. It will eventually stop being radioactive, but it never disappears. Radiation lasts a tiny fraction of a second, doesn't go very far, even gamma, and it's easy to block. And most importantly, it doesn't make other things radioactive, even if huge amounts of radiation have hit something. And it's pretty harmless in small doses. Remember, we have five to 10,000 radioactive decays every second going on in our bodies for our whole lives just due to the radioactive isotopes that are naturally part of us. If we want to avoid irradiation from an external source, then there are some simple things we can do. First, just keep away from the source. Alpha can't go more than a few centimetres through air, beta only a metre or so, and gamma spreads out like light as the square of the distance. So it's a hundred times dimmer at 10 metres than it is at one metre. If you have to be near a source, then just put something in the way. This is called shielding. And if you can't keep away and you can't use shielding, then reduce the amount of time you spend being irradiated. Contamination is all about having radioactive stuff where it shouldn't be. Water, food and dust are already naturally radioactive. But if we add some more radioactive materials that shouldn't be there, then we say these things have become contaminated. So if we drink the water, eat the food, or get dust on us, then we get irradiated. This is a problem because we can't escape from being irradiated if the radiation source moves around with us. We can't use distance or shielding or time to reduce our dose. The best way to stop contamination is to make sure radioactive materials are solids that can't dissolve in water. This keeps them in one place and you can keep track of them. If something gets contaminated with radioactive dust, say, then you can wash it off and you stop being irradiated by it. You can let the radioactive dust mix in with the millions of tonnes of naturally radioactive material that's part of our environment, or you can collect it and put it somewhere away from people.